Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how you can see your sleep data on your Apple Watch. Because of course, you may be a bit confused and I do understand why. Because here on your Apple Watch is this sleep icon, which has like a bed on it with the blue background. So if you tap on it, you can just set up your bedtime. Like you can see that I should go to bed at 9 p.m. and wake up at 5.30 or whatever it is. This is my full schedule. You can turn on or off the schedule if you disable it, then you the sleep app is pretty much empty but yeah that's the whole purpose you can change the time add a schedule or a goal however this is not the whole picture and in order to see your sleep data sleep tracking there are two things that you should do at first you should wear the apple watch on your wrist during the entire night that's actually important so the apple watch knows about your heart rate and the way you move and all the information that it needs that's also an, an important thing because a lot of people charge their Apple Watches during the night, so you're going to have to find a different way of charging this. Maybe just get a USB-C fast charger so you can get it done really quickly. And, and the, the second thing in order to track the sleep is to see and check it out on your iPhone. Then navigate to the health app from Apple is the basic one. And you can see it's already here, part of my favorite. So you can see sleep right here or just make sure to go to browse if you cannot see it here on the first page. And here you should be able to see sleep somewhere around here. So it's here on the list. So tap on sleep and now it's going to give you some information about it. For me, because I didn't wear my Apple Watch during the night, it only tells me the time in bed and it can measure it by the last time I touched my Apple devices, any of them, and by the time I first touched them in the morning. So that's uh, how it knows how long I've been in bed. However, here it tells me my full schedule or stuff like this information. Uh, to get more information, you need to click on show more sleep data here. So show more data and there are more things to keep track of. So this is just for a day, for the entire week and for a month year half a year and so on however the thing is that i like i said i don't wear the apple watch on my wrist during the night and it doesn't have the information about my average awake time average REM sleep deep sleep if you don't know what those terms mean you can click on the information icon in here and it is, it is explained in here so you can read through it if you don't know about the terminology and about the things anyways if you for example click here and you can see the amount you can see your sleep code the average time in bed average time of sleep four hours 27 minutes is definitely not a lot and you can check out the comparisons in here so for the few nights that i actually wore the apple watch it measured my heart rate and uh, average breaths per, per minute and average my average rest temperature of course it also depends on which apple watch series you have because some older watches are not even able to track your temperature so that's also really important you should also consider downloading a third-party app for it so for example if you go here even in the official health app in the sleep section there are third-party apps being promoted in here for example i like the sleep cycle it's an app that i've been using for a long time and uh, it allows me to track my sleep really well it also requires my apple watch to be on my wrist all the time but if you just open it up, you can see all of your uh, information about it. Like you can see that it tracks the entire night and of course your sleep cycles as the name suggests and if you hit your goal of being uh, in bed and stuff. So definitely play around with it. But don't just stick to this app for the basic one. Of course, it's good to begin with, but then eventually you can start playing out with some third party apps which give you much more information and are even endorsed by Apple. So it's definitely a good idea to use it that way. So I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just like the app. That's why I'm talking about it. For example, this app also has uh, like a alarm that's going to wake you up in the morning, but in like a time period. So you're going to set like a 30 minutes period. You can see from 5.10 to 5.40 a.m. And that means that during the time I can wake up at any time and it's just going to wake me up based on my sleep cycle. So it's not going to interrupt me in my deep sleep session. So it tries to wake me up at the best time. 
and it also when you set an alarm you just wind down for a couple of minutes with some forest sounds or some rain or whatever to make you fall asleep better so so there are many options available and make sure to actually track your sleep if you want to because the apple watch is a great device to do so and also if you have ever wondered why i wear the apple watch upside down in my videos then check out this video right here where i explain exactly why i do so and there are multiple reasons for it so definitely check it out <music>